GE Mac 2000. <sighs> Biggest problem I have with these is the keyboard stops working. It's just poorly made. Um, I'll show you all that in another video, how to get into keyboard tests as well. So this one specifically came in with a paper printing issue, uh, paper Q, meaning it would just print in the middle of a page. You see these edges here, or it's not recognizing the seam. Um, and the other one is that when the ECG prints, it just, it's continuous. So first thing was to look up, make sure we have the right paper, with the holes in the right spot. Uh, Googled it, checked GE's website to make sure, not just some aftermarket nonsense, and this is the correct paper, correct thickness, correct hole placement. So the idea is the paper sensor holds the next thing to check, make sure it's clean. When I opened it, this was empty, so I can see that was off, so now I'm going to pull the whole paper tray assembly to get to that. There are four screws on the underside to pull the cover off, then there are three cables. Uh, you're going to have, yes, I've already done all this, a Molex connector, a ribbon cable, and be careful of this one, this is your uh, communications Wi-Fi cable. Uh, pull those off. Next up, I'm sorry, before that you're going to have to also open the paper tray to release that. And then there's two clips that go through here. Let's see, sorry, this one. And one right there. And you've got to release those from underneath here um, to separate. So now, next up, you're going to have to pull off your power supply uh, tray, disconnect the two cables, your input and your output, and then it's six screws. One, two, three, four, and these two guys right here. This whole thing will lift up, move it out of the way. Next up, you've got all these cables. These are also glued down as well as connected. Two ribbon cables, two paper sensor cables here, here, and one Molex connector that goes right there. Um, these all have a bit of tacky or glue on them, so don't be afraid. I'm putting a little force to remove those. Once those are all out, pull this ground cable. It's going to sit right here off, and then this whole assembly will pull out once you remove the adhesive from the cable. Up and away. And next up is your paper tray assembly. Okay, so this is just sitting here. There are four screws holding it in place. This one here. All these little holes you see. That hole and that hole. Now your entire paper tray assembly will lift up and out. <clears throat> Now to get to this assembly, pull this one screw here. This cover comes off. Try to lose your screws. And then you've got four left. This little sensor is holding one of the screws. That hole, that hole, and there's two more on the other side. There and there. And then, all you have to do is flip it upside down like this and give it a little bit of force to slide this piece out. Let's see if I can do this while filming. There we go. The whole thing comes out. And those are your whole paper hole sensors, or paper Q sensors. This one specifically was popped out and that was my issue so now put all that together you can watch this in reverse order I guess Switch to a smaller bit. Take the screws out with another two, but I need a number one for the back end. Tiny little heads. See?
sure he's somebody's back together. Back in the spot. Motor cover. <clears throat> this guy. This is the part where having magnetic bits comes in handy. Okay. Got a bit. Where you found them. Thank you. These cables sit underneath your power supply tray, so plug them in first.
Iron Cable. <clears throat> Next up, power supply. Pretty standard basic power supply. Has this uh, 24 volt output, 100 volt input. So, part number, if you need that. Stats. Okay. And it just sits on top of everybody. Input cable, and our battery output cable. Check your holes, make sure you know the cables aren't really holes. You're really in trouble if that is. Solid. On to the top. Yeah. Molex. Ribbon cable. I'm just slide this bad boy up. See down here. See down here. Guess can't zoom on the sides. Uh, sorry. Slide this up. Make sure this is fully seated. So ribbon cable. I have to keep checking the connector, make sure it's fully up to get this in. Alright, slide it down, lock it in place. sitting correctly. That looks better. Alright, now on to this little guy here. Communication cable. Put that little antenna right. There you go. Pops in. Nice and easy. That's it. Just two clips. Show you those clips again. Since all right, this is part. Down here. Can you see that? Okay. This one's a little bit harder to get into with your finger. If you can, great. Otherwise, that screwdriver will do. There you go. Now, switch bits. Back to number two. And four screws. One, two, three. All this paper. And then we're ready to rock and roll.
Let's test this out. Boot up a bit slow. As well as. Here we are. Let's just tell it to print nothing. So I have no acquisition module connected yet. Good, but I don't care. Let's see how this works. Yeah, yeah, we know it all snap. Okay, oh, look at that. Pulling back in to line up correctly. Queuing. There's all the previous print. Anyway. May have damaged the paper, so we just had to fix that. <clears throat> so now it's gonna kick out the this page because it's not lined up. But it got a bit long. Okay. There we are. Marvelous. That's it.